Okay, this is the area we raise our seedlings in, and these are quite advanced seedlings as you can see. They're well and truly ready to go out into the beds. Beautiful, beautiful lettuce, and look, lots of it ready to go out. We've got roots showing through, so they're ready to go out. And this tray goes right through the middle of this greenhouse, and it's watered on a timer. It's watered four times a day for about 10 or 15 minutes, and you can see it works. It's a system that works very, very well. And once again, I want to show you, not no, no insect attack on the plants, which is great. We're really happy with the way that's working. This particular greenhouse is our kind of mini commercial system, if you want to put it that way. We have all the elements in here of a commercial system as far as filtration is concerned, distribution tank, pumps, sups, and all that kind of thing. We have draft beds, we have media beds. So when we bring students here, this is where we teach them about how to design your farm. And of course, we cover all that very, very carefully in our face-to-face -face courses and also on our aquaponics design course, which is online. Here we've got, in demonstration mode, two beautiful little pine kits. We, we feature this, of course, in our courses. The dog's having a drink, look at that. Um, the dogs know where to get the water. They, actually, they shouldn't be in the greenhouse area, but this is outside the greenhouse area, and we've got some lovely plants growing here. You can see all the lettuce, you can see some spring onions, and at the back here's a fish tank that's got Murray cod in it. You can see on the trellis there, we've got tomatoes growing, and more of those beautiful climbing beans some all-weather spinach there and this plant here in the middle this is um, watercress which is absolutely beautiful in the salad it's got a slight just a slight peppery taste very very nice in the salad so this is all the kind of stuff you can grow in your own home systems this kit is what we call a terrace kit we used to manufacture these a bit of luck we're going to start making them again soon because people are asking for them so there you go but look at this mint hey it's really out of control so much of it just a tip, most people know that have done aquaponics for a little while, don't plant mint in your grow beds unless you dedicate a bed to it because it just takes over, it gets out of control. We regularly have to get to this and chop it back, you know, give it, get really vicious with it and chop it back to keep it down in size a little bit. Uh, just look how well it grows. And you've just got to touch it like this and the beautiful aroma that you get is unbelievable. Behind here some more all-weather spinach, some, um, you call those things? Spring onions, sorry for looking at the pause for a So come over this way. I want to just show you the aloe vera. Look at this beautiful aloe vera. Now, aloe vera is a desert plant, and you wouldn't think for one minute it could grow in an aquaponic system because you'd think there'd be just too much water. But look at the health of this. I'll just cut a piece and show you. If I can find my knife, that is. Here we go, I'll just slice one of these leaves off and you'll see the beautiful quality of the aloe vera. Have a look at that, just, just look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely top class, top class product. And um, you know, aloe vera has all sorts of medicinal uses. Another use that's said to be good for aloe vera is to strike plants, you know, when you're doing uh, tissue culture and stuff like that, to actually put it in aloe vera and it sends it off. So, we're doing some little experiments with that at the moment to see how we go with that. Now we're in our original greenhouse. This is the one we first started off with. And this fish tank here, 2,500 litre fish tank. We built this 15 years ago from fiberglass. It's still here, still going strong. And these four beds in the middle, they're the original beds we've had and we're still planted up. You can see this massive plant here, that's taro. Now, some of you may not know what that is, but in the South Sea Islands, Hawaii, and uh, all those parts, parts of the world, they just love the stuff. It's actually a root crop, it's a yam, some people might call it a yam, but you use it in all the same way you'd use potatoes. But it's a little bit tasteless on its own, so we found that if you cook it with a little bit of chilli or a little bit of uh, curry or something like that, it can, it can become very, very nice to eat. And guess what? It's very, very nutritious. A really, almost a complete food in its own right, so it's well worth growing taro, and as you can see, it does extremely well in aquaponics. And here we have some good old mini cabbages, they're as hard as a rock. We've been harvesting them out a couple every every few days to use and we're down to the last of them now. See on the wall here we've got more beans. I love beans. Beans are a wonder food I reckon. And you can just grow them so so easily. And behind me here, this is a plant called King Kong, which is once again a wonderful salad plant. It grows like nobody's business as you can see it just fills out over the bed and we just harvest the leaves off that. It goes great in stir fries. And look at the health of the plant again. Isn't that fantastic? Now come further along. I 
I want to show you the eggplants. Look at these eggplants. See in the back there, we've got a rat trap set there because we've got a bit of a rat problem. But these eggplants, look at the flowers on them. And we can see up close here, you'll see that some of them are really starting to bear wonderful fruit. We've already, we've already, we've already harvested off them actually, but look at those coming along. All these flowers are just going to turn into eggplant. We've got more down here. Look down here amongst the leaves, there's more of it. Beautiful stuff coming along. And um, that's going to be just great. We love that. Makes great lasagna, you know, believe it or not. Eggplant is terrific for that. So let's just have a quick look around the rest of the system. We've got some of the beds here. We haven't planted much in them right now because, once again, our chronic water shortage. We hope that'll end soon, I hope. And that we'll be able to plant these beds up again as much as we normally do. So, there you go. Just look at the papaya tree in the distance. Look at that loaded up with papaya seed up there. And... Um, it's going to be really good. We're keeping that tree going with all the water it needs. So, so there we go. That's our greenhouse tour for the morning. And so you can see what we're doing here at um, Practical Aquaponics. And um, all the stuff we do here, growing stuff all the time. We grow it for our own use, to give away to a local charity that we like to support. And also so students can come here and they can see how you can grow stuff so beautifully well. And I hope this morning we've illustrated to you how healthy our plants are, how well they're doing, and it's just prime, prime produce you can produce in an aquaponic system. Oh, but before we finish, come let's have a look at the fish. And this is a fish tank we've set up so that you can see what the fish look like because when people come here to visit and see aquaponics, they want to see the fish, but oftentimes you can't because the fish will run and hide at the back of the tank and so on. So we've set this up especially so you can see what jade perch look like. And this fellow down here is a Murray Cod, and he's not doing much. That's what Murray Cod do. They kind of lie around all the time waiting for someone to go by, and so they can trap them and eat them. But these fish are getting quite used to us being here, and uh, quite used to being looked at and stared at. Uh, yeah, they're lovely fish, beautiful fish. So this one, see the spots on the side? That's a jade perch. This little skinny guy here swimming around here, that's a silver perch. And of course you've got the Murray Cod. Okay, so that's what our fish look like in our aquaponic systems here in Australia. There are other varieties of fish, of course, and you can keep pretty much any freshwater fish variety that's local to your area is the ideal thing to do, rather than keep a fish that's some exotic species that might prove difficult for you to keep, and in some instances, might even be illegal. So there you go, that's the fish in the aquaponic system here at Practical Aquaponics. Yeah.